Hey, Rob here at SEMA. I'm with Ben and Mickey Thompson Booth. How you doing this morning? Not too bad, Rob. How you doing? Doing awesome. Cool, man. So, you guys have uh, the Baja MTZ P3 right here in front of us. This is one of your newest tires. That's right. That's right, Rob. We've been working on this product for a while. You know, the MTZ was a tire people knew and loved. Uh, and when we got out that we're going to be replacing the MTZ, right. uh, people gave us feedback. They said, don't do it and don't <laughs> screw it up. So, yeah. you know, man, we got newer technology and we knew the MTZ was a great product, but we basically took what worked so well with the MTZ and just uh, added some new bells and whistles to okay. it. Uh, one of the big things you'll notice here with the side sidewall area mm -hmm. is uh, the four pitch side biter sequence. Okay. Basically you have four different designs that alternate throughout the sidewall. Mm -hmm. That's going to help break up uh, you know, terrain like when you're off-roading. Okay. Um, also we have the decoupling groove added here to the buttress area between the side biters and the tread. Right. And when you air down that's going to allow for some additional flex. Okay. Also too when you're off-roading this is a very high heat area of the tire. That's right. going to help get rid of some heat in the tire as well. Nice. Uh, tread area Basically, the siping, we've uh, relocated it centrally within the lug. So, mm -hmm. like with an ice tire, certainly siping leading off the lug's great for additional ice performance. But uh, when you're off roading and right. some abrasive materials, you sometimes when the sipe leads off the edge, that can open up cut and chip situations. So, okay. um, speaking of cut and chip, one of the biggest things with the MTZ P3 that you can't even see is the compound. Right. It's got a, uh, a silica reinforced uh, tread cap stock, okay. which is going to give you better uh, wet handling, better wet braking characteristics, right. and uh, also uh, much, much better cut and chip off-road. Yeah. Uh, additionally, it's going to give you better on-road wear too. Right. So, um, angled shoulder scallops, going to give you better off-road traction, uh, additional biting edges, uh, right. you know. It's, uh, and of course, it's still got the power ply, three ply sidewall construction. Right. You know, uh, there's a lot of three ply sidewall products on the market, mm -hmm. but what makes Mickey Thompson's power ply different is you have two plies that take the shortest path possible from bead to bead. Okay. Okay. It's like a traditional radial tire, but the third ply is actually bias angle. Right. Okay. So if you get an impact when you're off roading mm -hmm. um, with a regular three ply or two ply or whatever, that force is going to be transferred to just the plies that are in that area. But with right. the angled third ply, it's going to transfer the force to a much wider area, mm -hmm. so better puncture resistance. It's also going to tighten up the carcass, too, right. to make it so you can react a lot quicker, like an emergency lane okay. maneuver or whatever. Right. So it's, uh, it's killer, man. We've got some new sizes, uh, some 295s, basically 3412s for uh, level Jeeps. Right. Um, and then we've got uh, two new 37-inch sizes, 37, okay. 13, 50, 18, mm -hmm. and 37, 13, 50, 20. So awesome. It's a heck of a lineup, man. we got some uh, uh, got some big stuff on the way, too. Not cool. to say anything more than that, but it All should right. be pretty exciting here soon. We'll so. definitely keep our eyes on Mickey Thompson. Cool. Appreciate you showing off the MTZ P3. I know we're excited to see this oh, yeah. release here. And uh, you want to make sure you stay tuned all week long. We've got plenty of new products coming at you straight here from the SEMA show.